Thank you, and welcome to this session, which I guess is one of the last sessions in the conference. So thank you for being here, and I hope you still have some energy to participate in, the, in this short talk. It will take me 10 minutes, more or, less, more or less, and we will have time to question and answers. So I'm Felix Pena, I am Data Support Manager at Open Contracting Partnership. Um, I'm going to present the Data Registry tool, which you might don't know about, and nor about Open Contracting Partnership. And because of that, I would like to introduce a, a little bit my organization. Open Contracting Partnership is an NGO. It's an NGO where we collaborate with partners around the world, governments mostly, on implementing open government and open data strategies to transform public procurement. And when I said transform public procurement, I mean make it more efficient, make it more inclusive, and make it sustainable. So this is our um, strategic model or a strategic cycle. And among other things, we work with partners, we help partners in collecting, standardize, and use, and also in, uh, to opening up contracting data, but we also help them in connect and identify uh, stakeholders and also to define goals and measure progress, progress sorry, towards it, and also to set and implement reforms on the field. So, as I said, data plays a key role in, in our support model or an, in our strategic model, and to, uh, to like, to develop this, we have developed the Open Contracting Data Standard, which is uh, an international open data standard, the only international data standard to publish and opening up contracting data. And thanks to the OCDS, the acronym of Open Contracting Data Standard, we can transform data from different sources in different formats and structures and with local names, local field names, into a standardized and normalized data sets uh, that allows the comparison between uh, the data from the different publishers around the world. And the JSON, well, the, this is a detail, the JSON is the official um, format for the OCDS, the Open Contracting Data Standard, but some partners are publishing XLS and CSV format as well. Over, over 50 countries around the world are publishing their data under the, the OCDS, the Open Contracting Data Standard. As you can see here, most countries of uh, most, most Latin American countries and North American countries are publishing their contracting data under the OCDS. And this not only happens at the national level, but also at the subnational level, and also some individual agencies are publishing their data using this standard. And it also happened in Europe and in some countries in Africa and in Asia. So what's the data registry? This is what I came to talk about, not about my, my organization, but I needed to, to introduce it. The data registry is an open data portal that's, that centralizes the different publications from around the world, from all of these countries. I, I showed you, and so that's the that's the tool, and I will explain you some details in in a while, in a moment. But it also has uh, a description for every for for each data set and a summary of the quality, the main quality issues uh, that the data has in their original sources. So that's that's the registry. So why we develop the data registry? First of all, to promote the use of open data and also the use of contracting data, and also to tackle the common issues users often face. Even though the publishers, the more than 50 publishers that are using the OCDS are publishing their data using a common language, using the, a, a data standard, users often face challenges in finding the websites that contains the data, and also in finding the most updated data sets to work with. And publishers, in some cases, don't uh, publish the contextual information or also the, the metadata associated with the different data sets. 
and in some cases they don't explain what are the main quality issues that their data set has. So these kind of things are the things that the data registry comes to solve. So how does it, how does it work? Uh, if you go to data.opencontracting.org, you will see a home page like this with a language menu. Currently, we have English, Spanish, and Russian options. And if you click on Start Your Search, you will see this menu. It's a complete, a full list of um, data sets. The data set we get using the data registry from the different um, data sources, the different web, web page. And um, we also have at the left of the screen a filter menu where we can filter alphabetically the different publications, also by date range, by update frequency, and also by selecting the information that the different data set has. For instance, if you want to work just with the contracting information of the contracting process, you can, you can filter it here. Or if you want to work just with the licitation or the tender stage of the contracting process, you can find it and filter it here. So if we click on the letter D in the filter menu, we will see the data sets from the countries with the letter, with the letter D, in this case, Denmark and Dominican Republic. And inside this box, we provide with, a, with further detail about the data set and also with some contextual information of, of or metadata. In this case, the Dominican Republic has been publishing data from the 2018 to the 2023, and they are updating the, their data on a monthly basis. And the last time they updated their data was this month, April 2023. And we also uh, provide with a detail about the different formats the users can get the, the data. The users of this data are the, mainly the, the governments itself, journalists, NGOs, um, the businesses, businesses that want to contract with the, with the government are using these uh, data sets. So if we click on Dominican Republic, we can see the page for the Dominican Republic data sets with more detail about the, con the context where this data uh, was um, developed, and also a detail about the different stages of the contracting um, process that the data ha has. As I said, in this case, we can find information about the contract or the tender stages, among others. And also, we, also, we, we highlight here um, an interesting things. We also do this for the other data sets. But in this case, the Dominican Republic is opening up data uh, or fields about the, gender, the vendor gender, 